Investing may sound like a difficult task, but when you get down to it, a few simple principles can help you understand how to become a great investor. Now, words may differ, but these underlying principles will act as your beacons for making good investment decisions. As they say, well begun is half done. So start by researching well and spending some time to understand the various options available for investing your hard-earned money. Remember, when you understand something well to begin with, you will be more likely to make great choices later. Start investing early. This will allow you to benefit from the power of compounding. Compounding essentially means interest earning interest, or in other words, your money making more money for you. For example, let us assume that you and your friend from school, Rohan, both started investing rupees 5000 every month many years ago. The difference being that you started investing five years before Rohan did. Over the time that passed since you started investing, you have earned almost rupees 25 lakh more than Rohan by just investing rupees 3 lakh extra. How did you manage this? You didn't. Compounding did. Look what a difference those five extra years made. Stay invested for the long term. Stick to your plan to really benefit from the power of compounding. The longer you remain invested, the more you will benefit. This will also result in lower volatility and hence a higher potential to make consistent returns. For example, if you started investing just rupees 10,000 every month at age 25, by the time you retire at 60, you would have already made almost rupees 6.5 crore. This is because of the power of compounding. Remember that these two principles go hand in hand. Investing early and remaining invested for the long term together form the base for incredible results. Articulate your financial goals clearly. Whether you want to save for a car, for your retirement or simply want to build wealth, the more well thought out your goals, the easier it will be to create a plan to get there. Think of various scenarios that could play out over the next 25 to 30 years. And don't forget, your goals will evolve as your family grows, so keep your plans flexible. Now, before you plan your investments, you need to understand your risk profile. This is determined by 1. Your ability or capacity to take risks, which can be understood by considering various factors such as your current financial status, number of financial dependents, etc. 2. Your willingness to take risks, which is dependent on more personal and psychological factors. 3. Your financial goals, which determine how much risk you actually need to take to achieve them. And this brings us to our next principle. Understand the risk associated with various investment products. Different products leverage different levels of risk to deliver upon different objectives. The right mix of these products determines what outcomes you can plan for. Broadly, the idea is to be able to match your own risk profile and the time horizon of your financial goal with that of the investment products you choose. Another key idea to keep in mind is diversification. Ensure that you don't end up putting all your eggs in one basket. Diversification simply refers to the idea of not investing too much in any one kind of investment and spreading your money over multiple choices, whether in terms of sectors, asset classes or even products. It helps you reduce risk because even if one or two of your choices don't do well for you, the others will help balance such a negative impact. This will eventually help you maximize the potential to earn good and consistent returns. Allocate assets appropriately. Even if you don't diversify across products, at least allocate your investments appropriately between different asset classes. Always remember that equity might do well for some time, but debt assets may do much better at other times. The right mix of equity and debt will help you add both growth and stability to your investment portfolio. To understand these concepts better, consider scenario A, wherein you invest Rs 100 in equities only. And under scenario B, you again invest Rs 100, but in an equal proportion across different asset classes. Now, assume that the value of your equity investment falls by 10% and that of your debt or fixed income investment increases by 10%. Under scenario A, the value of your investment would have become Rs 90. However, under scenario B, your value would have remained at Rs 100. This is a simple example of asset allocation in action. Review your portfolio regularly. 
track how your portfolio is performing at periodic intervals and if something's not doing well over the long term or if you find that your portfolio has become skewed towards a particular asset class consider making relevant changes when necessary seek professional advice a professional investment advisor can guide you to not only build a better portfolio by recommending the right products most suitable for your needs but also to always remain disciplined and on track but your dependency on an advisor should not become an excuse for you not to train yourself to become a better investor and that's the quickest crash course on how you can become a great investor remember investing is as much art as it is science and with these simple steps your investing journey could be a lot better mutual fund investments are subject to market risks read all scheme related documents carefully